Shalom and good day to all of you. We are glad that you could tune in with us to learn about God's word and take some time to meditate about a topic that we are looking in today. We've been moving and learning about very many different faith journeys of men and women in Hebrews 11. And today our focus is on Rahab who showed courageous faith. Rahab is a woman. She was a Canaanite, not one among God's people. She was a harlot and she was one who lived in Canaan. Reading from Hebrews 11.31, By faith, the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies with peace. We see the way Rahab demonstrated courageous faith being a harlot in the city of Jericho. The story of Rahab is that she owned a house at the, in the walls of Jericho. And when the spies came in, the spies of Israel came in, she housed them and she protected them. When the rulers asked for them, she hid them in her roof. And that was one of the courageous things that she did. She even concealed their identity and their whereabouts. Another courageous step of faith that she took. Now Rahab had heard of all the things that God had done in Israel. She had heard about the parting of the Red Sea, the way that um, uh, the Israelites defeated the Ammonites. And she even says, this. she says, The Lord your God, He is God in heaven, above on earth and beneath. And she declared, she declared in faith the works of God. So she again here, you see, we see that Rahab talks about who God is, a, a God that she had never known. So Rahab, we see, has upheld a, a model of faith, even though she was not one among the people of Israel. Rahab could have easily chosen to obey the king of Jericho, who she knew, rather than obey the, the God of Israel, who she didn't know. But she stepped out in faith. She stepped out in courageous faith because she had seen the glory of God. And her courageous faith not only spared her and her family, but she also got her name in the lineage of the Messiah. So we see the way how Rahab showed and demonstrated her courageous faith in the God of Israel, despite not being a part and parcel of God's people. What are the lessons that we can take from Rahab's faith? There are times we may be in despair, not really proud of who we are, but we, we see that God transforms our reputation. He transforms it into something that is a glorious one when we put our trust in Him. Like Rahab, we can be sure that the faith that we put in God will bring us to an, to, will bring us to an unexpected place of blessing and inheritance. So let's step out in courageous faith today, knowing that God will bless and give us part of His inheritance. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word today. We thank you for what we see in Rahab, the way she stepped out courageously to declare and proclaim your works. We pray that in every one of our situations, we would courageously move in faith, knowing that there is a blessing and an inheritance that you have promised for us. We receive this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.